looking to live here uh, approximately uh, a year and a half or a little more. Um, I was uh, homeless and um, I was living in um, a, a apartment hallways, uh, furnished the furnishings down in the apartments um, for many years, at least um, 11 years. And I, through UMDNJ with my doctor, um, she introduced me to um, Betty, Shorts. Betty. Okay, Betty Shorts, and um, she uh, interviewed me and went through the process of um, finding out the information and told me that I was a um, good candidate for um, housing because I was homeless and. Um, she, we went through the whole process, and uh, it's the best thing that ever happened to me. Um, I don't know if I would even be alive today right now if I didn't have this um, triple C housing. You know, roof over my head, of course. Um, uh, they have counselors that come. I see a counselor every week, and um, they help me with anything I need. You know, between a ride, um, going to an appointment with me, a medical appointment, um, everything. Because I, I, like I said, I, I'm having memory problems. I'm having appointments more to find out about that, and they're taking me there. Um, so they help me remember things, things I need for the doctors and stuff like that. Anything I need, really. It's you know, they're there. It's nice. Everybody helps you. Um, I have no problems living here. It's really nice. It's something that is necessary in, in all the world. It's necessary to have. Um, it's not always just somebody that um, you know doesn't is lazy or doesn't want to work or anything like that that are homeless. It's it's a uh, you know a lot of different people you know for certain reasons whether it's job losing a job or losing a house because you couldn't afford to pay for it and stuff like that. So, you know, I would tell them that this is necessary and they should never, ever take it away.